Welcome. Let's talk about ChatGPT and how it affects Excel. We'll go over various examples of how tools like ChatGPT may help you become more proficient with Excel and other apps, as well as how it can enhance your ability to create functions using your data. Now let's start off by defining ChatGPT. It's part of a new generation of artificial intelligence products that engage with you in many ways. Today we're going to show you how it can construct Excel functions, but it can also write stories, edit text, as well as instruct you on other items. As far as, ex as Excel, it can create nested and even complicated functions. This tool definitely feels evolutionary. You won't have to memorize syntax or begin with a blank function thanks to it. Users can specify what they want in English or other languages, and the syntax is constructed for them instead of them becoming frustrated with Excel's convoluted syntax. Additionally, more users will be able to employ complicated Excel functions, which is beneficial for our community. I wouldn't be surprised if in the near future, Excel gets directly connected with products like ChatGPT. Just a few housekeeping tasks before we continue. In the description of this video, I'll include a link to ChatGPT's registration page. I also want to warn you that your outcomes may not always be accurate. Always remember that you are still in charge of testing and ensuring that anything that you create satisfies your requirements, just like any function that you create. In the upcoming examples, we'll start out simply, get a little bit more complicated, and even demonstrate a cool feature where ChatGPT can generate data. Please leave comments with your ideas as you watch, as we're all in the early days of AI tools, and we can all learn from each other. Let's get going. For our simple example, we will ask ChatGPT's prompt to tell us how to add cells A1 and A2. I expect anyone watching this video already knows how to add two cells, but this demonstrates the basic functionality, including how it suggests additional solutions here with the sum function. In addition, the explanation of all the solutions are provided. Now you have the choice to take in the full explanation to learn more or just copy and paste the solution. Now please note that ChatGP2 doesn't just give me a generic answer that you would find on most Excel tutorial websites, but actually uses my requested data fields A1 and A2 in the answer. This is why you can copy and paste the solution with little to no editing. Now, let's get a little bit more complicated and see how ChatGPT performs. Now let's try a slightly more advanced example here. So what I'm showing here is a list of four students and their scores on a recent exam. And I want to put a letter grade for each exam score. Now there are several ways to do this in Excel, but let's say I don't know, and I wanna see how ChatGPT can solve this problem for me. I know of several ways to calculate letter grades, but let's not give ChatGPT too many hints. We will just say what we want. In the prompt, I will describe how I define letter grades and tell ChatGPT which field contains the numeric grade. This will make the cut and paste work much easier at the end. As you can see, ChatGPT thinks for a moment and then starts to create a nested if statement for the five letter grades. Whether nested if statements are the most efficient way for every lookup function is debatable, but for a simple lookup of five numeric ranges, I find it to be a great solution, especially if I had no idea how to do this in the first place. So as it's now explaining to me how this works, I can go ahead and copy the statement at the top, and then this will allow us to go back over to Excel and then paste it in to see if this is working. Okay, and now we will paste it into the field here. So I will paste it up here in the formula so we can see it all right there. It's all the nested if statements. And when I hit enter now, it's going to put the letter grade for each student over in column C. And it's always a good idea with ChatGPT to test it out. So I will change John's score here to let's say a 50. And if it's right, it should turn it letter grade to an F. Let's put it up to 95 and it should be an A. So there we go. That's how you can use ChatGPT to start to craft more complex Excel formulas that hopefully will help you in your job. Now let's move on to the next topic. 
Okay, in this example, we're going to go a little bit more complex with ChatGPT. So over here, we're going to create a VLOOKUP so that when we're looking up this value of one, I wanna know what the product is. And over here, I'm gonna match it to this one and bring over the product of an apple. And then with three, I'm going to bring over here for milk. Some key points to make is that we wanna bring over column F. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's jump over to chat GPT. Now let's start crafting the prompt so the VLOOKUP statement is built. I will tell the program to create the VLOOKUP statement. I won't go into details about how VLOOKUP works, but I will link to another video of mine that does do that. So I will add the lookup cell. I define the table and I want to lock the reference to this table, which is extremely important if you wanna use this function in other cells on here. And recall that I want the value to re be returned is in column F. So I will tell that to chat GPT and then we will then, the prompt looks good. And oh yes, I want an exact match as well. So let's make sure we add that one and then we will submit this. Now the solution is being returned. In this case, chat GPT puts the solution in a black box with a copy code link in the upper right corner. I find the black box solution to be a cleaner element, but as the previous examples demonstrated, the black box is not always displayed. Now, not only is the solution returned, it explains the purpose of locking or referencing the table array with the dollar signs. Now, if you're still here, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you like this type of content, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Now let's copy the code and move back over to Excel to see if that worked. Okay, now we will paste the code into the value here and let's see if it's properly going to bring in the apple and the milk values. And there it did. So right there, ChatGPT was able to create a VLOOKUP formula based on an English translation of what I wanted to return. Now, let's say instead I decided I did not want to use a VLOOKUP formula, but instead I wanted to use index match, which is an alternative version of VLOOKUP. So let's see how we could do that real quick. A cool feature of ChatGPT is that it has a memory. Now I could restate my entire prompt, but I don't have to. Rather, since I'm still in the same chat record, I only have to ask for the previous solution to be presented as index match. So what I wanted to demonstrate here was that you can keep refining your solution by incremental prompts just by typing in what you need changed or what you want added. So it's definitely not just like going back and doing a brand new Google search. Now let's jump back to the beginning prompts and I wanna review one last interesting element of this application, so stick with me. Let's say you have an Excel assignment where you need all of the states in the US along with their population as part of a larger analysis. Being a savvy Excel user, you probably already know how to link to web tables for data, but let's see if ChatGPT can make it easier for us. So we prompt for a CSV of all 50 states. Let's add in the state abbreviation. We can then watch my poor typing skills, and then we ask for the population as well. Now the solution black box returns CSV data with what I requested. When the data completes, I can copy it with the link in the upper right, then I can paste it into Excel to use however I want. You know, I get excited when I see AI tools that will change how we do the job that we're all so passionate about. Some may think that AI tools will replace us, but I see them making us more efficient and effective at our real job, which is analysis and presentation. You know, please let us all know your thoughts about AI and how it changes your Excel work.